guys, I'm going to quickly go through what I got from IMATS a month ago, which is the International Makeup Artist Trade Show in Pasadena, California. The reason why I am sharing um, what I got from there with you now is because I was waiting on this one palette to get here and, you know, it didn't arrive until a month later after the show. I ordered this palette because they had ran out um, by the second day that I got to that booth and knew that I wanted the palette. So what I'm talking about, and I also tweeted, tweeted this, which um, I tweeted it through the phone because I took a picture of it and my my phone service is AT&T and I don't know what's up with AT&T you guys need to figure it out but it ended up tweeting this picture like at random times constantly like another 10 times it tweeted that twit pic I don't know so you guys probably thought that was annoying um, I wouldn't be surprised if a bunch of you unfollowed me because of that because it was pretty obnoxious so I think that's finally done and over with I think it'll stop tweeting that same picture but if you are a follower, you'll probably know what I'm talking about. It's the Yabby palette that came in. I was so excited about it. And this is what it looks like. You can, so you can see like how nice and compact it is. This is the Best of Both Worlds palette, which you'll be able to see why. It has a nice big mirror, which is great. But as you can see, it has a great range of colors. And it comes with not only shimmery colors, but also matte colors, like some of these... Some of these are matte here, which is great. I love it. I've used it on some people. I've tried it on myself. And so far, I really, really like it. It really is like the best of both worlds. And I just love how compact it is, which is great for freelance work. Just very portable. So love it. It was worth the wait. I'm very happy about that one. OK, so I decided to share that one with you guys first. What else did I get? On the first day, I think the first booth I visited was the NYX booth, which I ran into a lot of you guys there, and thanks again for saying hi to me. Um, what did I get there? Okay, I got this foundation brush, which is the B05. The reason why I got this one is because not only is it very soft, this is a synthetic bristled brush, it's because I love how it's thick, like it's like thick at the belly here, and then it tapers up. A lot of foundation brushes are very like, are more thin, pretty flimsy, so I like that this has a bit of give on there, you know? I don't know, it just seems, this is, I've been looking for a brush just like this, so I was happy to get that. I also grabbed the NYX concealer in a jar, and this one is in beige. I remember hearing a lot of rave about this back in the day, like a long time ago, so I thought I would try this out. So far, I'm okay with it, not really in love with it or anything. Um, I also have the MAC Studio Finish, I think, Studio Finish Concealer, so maybe I'll do like a comparison of the two one day. And then I got this glitter, because I just wanted to try out one of their glitters, just to see how fine it is and how nice it is, so. This one is in Disco Ball. I think the name suits it pretty well. And, oh. I got a staple. I didn't even need to get it there, but I just felt so compelled to get it because I've been needing it. It is just the NYX Single Shadow in Black. Definitely a staple in my book. Ugh. Such such a good shadow for how little it costs, seriously. Everyone needs a matte black shadow, and I really, really like this one. Okay, last thing I got is this matte smoky look in One Night in Morocco. And what I, what compelled me to get this is the range of colors, great smoky colors, and the fact that it had a good bit of matte shades. Oh, actually most of it, most of these shadows are matte. The only one that has a bit of sheen or shimmer to it are these two lighter colors. So far, I, I love the colors in here and I love that some of them are matte, but it is on the powdery side for me, like you dip your brush in and you get a bunch of powder fallout. Like this bottom part right here is an eye primer and you can see a lot of the powder falls into that. Okay, and then at the bottom it slides out like this and it comes with four lip shades. These actually have a decent amount of pigmentation in them. I'm surprised. Every time I see like lip shades like this in, you know, this type of form, I'm always like, I cringe. I think that it's going to come out just waxy with like barely any color pigmentation. 
I was surprised. These have a bit of good bit of color pigmentation to them. So I do like that. But that is that palette for you in a nutshell. I've used it quite a lot already and I'm not in love with it, but I do like it. I like the convenience of it. I also visited the crown brush booth area. Um, I had to. I love, love brushes. So I got two eye brushes, one being this mini smudger brush. I like using this brush to pretty much um, apply or like smoke out color underneath the lower lash line. You can smoke out your eyeliner if you want to. So I like that brush. Then I also got this round contour brush. This is great to apply color right in your crease, that outer V area. So I got that. Then I got this large chisel blush brush. And I've been using this a whole lot already. I love it. I really like to use it as like for um, setting powder. To just set powder on my face or on people's faces. And the last brush, which I've been wanting this kind of brush for a while now, I feel like such a dork, but it is the Deluxe Soft Fan Brush. I love this. I've been using it on people to just brush out the fallout. It's like a huge broom for your face, if you want to think of it that way. <laughs> so I think that's all I got on the first day. I visited the NYX booth and I got something there and I visited the Crown. Um, that day was just so hectic. Like I walked around and looked at different things, but I didn't have my mind set on what I wanted to get yet until the second day. So the first thing I visited was the Makeup Forever booth, if you recall in my IMATS video from way back. And what I got from there, I got two of the face and body foundations, one in number 38 and one in number 48 as I take them out. This is 38, this is 48. As you can see, I got a really light one and a really dark one. I had intended to get a medium shade one too, like, or, you know, a shade in between these two, but I think they ran out or they didn't have it, so, yeah, I got these two. I got it um, upon recommendation because I heard that this is a great foundation, so I wanted to get, like, three different shades that I could custom mix and match if I had to, so that's why I got that. And then there was like a special deal, like they had a few special deals going on um, where you could get different sets for a good price. And so if you guys recall, uh, I believe it was my Yuna's Closet uh, like announcement video, the winner contest announcement video, I was wearing a certain kind of foundation that you guys are all asking about. And I also Facebooked a picture asking, you know, of that same, of that same look that I had on asking you guys if you could guess what foundation I had on. A lot of you, well, a few of you guys guessed right. It did happen to be the Makeup Forever HD foundation. And the one that I had on that day was in number 128. It's a little bit dark for me, but it gave my face color and I really, I actually really liked how it looked on me. Um, I think I'll go more into about this later. They had like a set of three, I think. I think this is in like the warm range, so 117 is light one, 128 the middle color, and then 177. I will go more into that later if you guys would like to, for me to do like an in-depth review and application video. And oh my goodness, this video is so long. Okay, gotta continue. I also got this blush, um, but they gave me the wrong one. This isn't the one that I wanted. They gave me this, this sculpting blush in number two. And it comes like that and it opens like this. It's like a very pale pink color. This wasn't what I wanted. I wanted like the contouring shade type of sculpting blush, but they gave me the wrong thing. Oh well, I think that day was so hectic that I didn't even like realize it, but it's okay. That day I also decided to pick up, because of all the raves, um, all the talk about it, I picked up the Embryolis I don't know how to pronounce this, but it is this moisturizer, and it's supposed to be a very nourishing moisturizer for all skin types, and a lot of makeup artists use this because it works really well as a moisturizer and primer in one, so I've been trying that one out on people. Okay, <laughs> that day I also totally got enabled and sucked into buying these which have been all the rave for a long time so there's have been so much hype about it i didn't even intend on getting these but i seriously got sucked into it like that day 
Like this girl that I met, she was like, you have to try it, you have to. And that is the OCC Lip Tars, the Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics Lip Tars. And I know they look like just lip glosses to you. I'm actually not a big fan of lip glosses, so that's why I didn't even like intend on getting these, but these are like potent lip color, lip glosses. They are very pigmented and these are no joke, seriously. They're like very, very pigmented. I got one in Conquest, which is like this milky, beige nude color. Melange. I don't know how to describe that one. And then this really like hot pink fuchsia color in Pageant. Okay, lastly, and this is probably my biggest like damage right here, is I decided to get the Dynair airbrushing system. Here's the gun. If you're not familiar with airbrushing, works just like that. I actually airbrushed myself today. I've been airbrushing other people, just um, getting more accustomed to using it and practicing. Practice always makes perfect, right? So, and it, it came with like um, a lot of different things in the kit. Like, it came with a cleanser, a cleaner right there. Um, it came with three different, found or four different foundation shades that you could pick. I picked the light range, and so that came with vanilla. I don't know if you can see the coloring that well, which is very light. Um, alabaster, which is another light one, but I think it's more pink toned. I can tell just by looking at it. And then light golden beige, which is the color I have on right now, and olive beige. So, came with that. Also came with this um, moist and dewy for dry skin. I tried this out on someone with drier skin and it just looked amazing. I wouldn't use this on myself because I have very oily skin and that dewy, shiny oiliness comes naturally, but it works really well if you have like pretty dry skin. And that's about it. Oh man, I'll have to try to cut this down as much as possible, but hopefully I'm not forgetting anything. And <laughs> whoa, hopefully I'm not forgetting anything. If you would like a more in-depth review or application of any of these, just let me know. I probably will do some on a few of these products. But that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.